hi guys hello and welcome back to our youtube channel it's thursday talks with motorio and your one and only baby girl queen esther yes guys so in today's edition we are going to be talking about what ladies look out for in men and guess what guys this is the second part of the video so that would mean that you need to catch up on what you have missed out on in the first video exactly so you do that by finding the link in the comment section right and head right to my channel and catch up on what you missed out on so we are going to dive right into it we begin by talking about the last five things to look out for yes so the first thing we are going to be talking about in this video is protectiveness so you want to make sure that you are with someone that is protective exactly it does not even have to be overprotective you know that's an extreme mm -hmm. that's the extreme of it mm -hmm. you want to be around someone that is protective of you you want to be safe around him you don't want to be too um self-conscious around him such that you cannot you, you feel unsafe you feel exposed to any form of danger around him and that reminds me of, of the story of abraham right abraham was protective of sarah although he had to lie at some point <laughs> that he that they were siblings you know but he was trying to protect her from perceived danger right he was trying not to expose her to what the king might do to to him or, or her right if the king finds out that she that they were married yes yeah so uh, do you have anything to ask so, that so for me i think anybody that cannot protect you should not be someone you even spend your time or life with in the first place yes see a man is supposed to be someone that should be like a shield yeah just where we talk about the shield of faith yeah so a man is supposed to be someone that should be able to protect you mm -hmm. guide you direct you so you must see that part and if someone loves you truly loves you they want to protect you. Yeah, they will. I remember times I'm working on the road with my brothers and they're yeah, like, you stay on the other side, I'll stay where the vehicles are passing. That's a gentlemanly, I mean, attractive, <laughs> you know. And my, my people that will marry them will be lucky. Yeah, great, actually. <laughs> Is this your advertising? I'm Come not on. advertising, no. I'm just joking. <laughs> but then, if, oh, if you are God-fearing and good looking as possible okay let's go on <laughs> yes so the next part i'm going to be talking about is assertiveness okay protection doesn't necessarily have to do with just physical danger right it sometimes it is emotional danger you see some men exposing their wives to dangers like you find your family members talking to your wife anyhow and you are you know you're just permissive of it you don't want to be around a man that is permissive you know, he cannot stand flat foot and say, oh, this is what I'm going to accept mm. as far as my family members are concerned okay. towards my wife. You yeah, know, exactly. you need to be around someone that can say is yes and then is yes is yes. Not necessarily a cruel or mean person, person but he's yeah. just really assertive. He's kind in his assertiveness. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. So, um, do you want to add anything to assertiveness? No, you pass all right <laughs> all right so i think one of that interesting thing i just mentioned is kindness you don't want to be around somebody that is kind to just you and is mean to everybody else trust me after some time when they have done see finish i think someone said there's something about you getting married to someone after they see finish it does not if the relationship was not built on true love yes after that see finish when you have seen everything finish no you not see the real person yeah so the person can be kind during your dating time and mm -hmm. all those things and after the see finish happens even you that he was kind to i'm a not look at your hand they are like this <laughs> Go for me, go for me. They are far away from oh us in God. Jesus' name. Even they are. So you want to ensure that he's not only really kind to you. Yes. He's also kind to his family. Yes. Not because some people cannot come and be kind to you and your friends and in their family. They are they are begging them to bring something. Exactly. You no. Know, exactly. The way he actually treats his family members to so show you that ah, this person will be a good man yes. to marry. Yes. And 
can we stay on the subject of kindness just a little? Okay. All right. So, and I also think that there are ways you can find out if someone is actually kind. kind? Apart from relying on the Holy Spirit, which is the principal way to find yes, out exactly. if someone is really kind. Because kind he's the not. master revealer mm-hmm. of the hidden intent of the heart. You know, you can see it from conversations. You know, just bring up topics. Like, mm. I saw this thing, this thing happened. What do you think about this about thing? It. Those are the things. Not what did you eat in the morning. <laughs> not what's your favorite color. While those things are important too, sometimes, you know, to make it, in, to make, to have a conversation going on. You can have conversations going around, you know, just give them scenarios. Yeah. You'll find out what is going on in their hearts. In their hearts. Time. And I think the way they respond to that situation will yes. actually make you know they are true. They are color. true color. It just helps you find out because you cannot just be someone cannot be saying yes, yes, yes to you, and then <laughs> he's very blue black to everybody else. Everybody else is running away from them. They're like, no, you are a different person. I treat you different because you, you were are different. made for me from hell. <laughs> you <laughs> oh you are a masterpiece, guy. Mm. <laughs> my goodness. Yes. So I think we've dealt enough with the subject of kindness, kindness. right? So the next thing we are going to talk about is you want to also make sure that the person you are around is curious about you. Yes, guys. guys it is. It, <laughs> see, ladies find it very attractive. attractive. You know, I'm not just the person asking about, okay, actually if I perceive that, okay, we are a bit serious, like maybe we are still in talking stage, but you know, we are getting a bit serious. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so. You are asking, you are like curious. thing looks like uh, uh, there's a future. Yes, you know, you are curious about me. Like, you're asking me questions. Okay, how about your mom? How about this? How was work? You know, you're, it shows that you're really interested, interested in me. You're interested in finding out who I am. Yeah. You know, it's just really attractive when a man is like that to what you is curious about you. Yeah. Not just himself. We don't want to be a man that be around a man that will just bore me to death with. Just what's going on with him. Oh, <laughs> you know, ladies are askers. Naturally, we are very curious people. You know, yes. we ask questions about you. We want you to tell us. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we want to see that part also in a guy. Yes. I think if a guy really likes you, there are certain questions to you. Please, or I think yeah. there are certain things you want to know yes. about you that is like very, very important. You know yeah. that, okay, I know this particular one. All those best color, best food things. When you go out, they don't even need to tell you. The food woman will order, will tell you. Ah. Do you know? Yes. <laughs> but there are certain things that the woman, she has said she's waiting for you to maybe act. So a guy must have that part that ah, there are certain things that she wants to do. And things of her also interest to matter a lot. Yes. Like anything you see that, anytime you see that, there are things she's interested with you. That you're like, ah, I'm not a fan that you push it aside. Do you me. get? Do you get? And another thing that curiosity helps you do is that it helps you build friendship and trust. Yes, with the person. For example, it's not everybody that they say marry your friend, marry your friend, marry your friend. It's not everybody that will find someone in their circle to marry, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you have to go outside of your circle, circle. to find someone that suits you. Mm-hmm. So you want to make sure that the friendship place is intact. Yeah. Because there ha- there, there's going to come a time that, you know, I've not been to marriage before, so I don't know what Very soon, like. in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yes. You want to so, carry a Shelby? <laughs> yes, so it's going to happen. <laughs> mm. So you want to, you want to, they say that there comes a point where the love can even wax, you know, cold. We don't look forward to it, but let's face the facts. Even actually. Jesus said it. Even the Bible says that in the last day, the love, the love of, of many. many will wax cold. So, and I, for me, I think that's one part of relationship. So one time I was like really afraid about. I'm like, wait, you tell me to marry someone. Is it not going to be a time I'll get bored yes. of this person? Yes. But then the good thing is that there are activities you can do to activities. make the activities. Like yes. you have. You can decide to like rearrange your house, yes. go on date, even because there's some people their dating period ends when they they might get married. Yes. So you have to like basically marry a guy that is actually willing to spice up things, not yeah. that spice up things and then someone you can talk to, to like you can have a discussion. That's what I was talking about, being curious. For example, someone just walks in from work and you're like, oh, how did your day go? Uh-uh. This happened, you know, all those things. You need to be able to put them in check and make sure that 
friendship is built out of curiosity you are curious about the person so there's a foundation already even if the love works go there's friendship we get to talk oh exactly i noticed that you've been like this guy what's going on you know it, it's just friendship that makes it beautiful exactly. right so mm-hmm. that's curiosity about her and you also have to be curious about him too as a lady mm-hmm. all right so any other thing you want to add so just remember any- a story in secondary school that was told you know when they're telling us don't get pregnant all this pregnancy yeah and i just remember this are uh, you were teacher saying that um when you sleep with a guy that is not your husband yeah when they're done with you they throw you away okay but in marriage when you sleep with yourselves there's also this companionship stuff maybe after the whole act they now sit down go themselves they not like a discussion yeah time so if they have not built that time of um the talking thing, that curiosity, yeah. the person is not because the person should, you guys should be able to discuss but have a discussion after this is not just about ah when I need you, yeah. Yeah. But after that one, stay on I'm your not own. even an object, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that curiosity I think a guy must have it. Yes. See if he does not have it. Plant it on his inside. Yes, you should plant it on his inside. And mm-hmm. the last thing we are going to be talking about. And the last thing we are going to be talking about is emotional presence and acceptance. acceptance guys. Yes. Exactly. Acceptance. So yes. the man has to be he has to be empathetic. I think that's what emotional presence is with for me he has to be empathetic you know mm-hmm. because you are aware of how this person feels person you feels. have to you don't you don't just make them feel like their emotions are invalid for example i am telling you for example that you know we, we don't spend time I- enough together in yeah. while we are dating and you are like discarding it you know it doesn't speak so well of you like it doesn't even make me feel comfortable around you so emotional presence is very important right yeah. what do you have to say about emotional acceptance he must be available yeah he's able to feel what you're feeling mm. what you're feeling should concern him if you are bothered he should be bothered yeah actually like, don't just tell us you know i'm a man we don't feel these things you know we're emotionally mm-hmm. <laughs> you're a man you with have, blood if you have to act it <laughs> Act as yes. thing, but even if you're on your inside, you're not feeling it. But act that the thing is doing you. Yes, please do. Yeah. <laughs> and the last thing is going to be acceptance. acceptance yes. yes. You see, this part is 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 of um, importance because in the first place, you cannot be with someone that does not accept, accept you. you for who you are you know they are trying to change you it's okay for someone to come into your life and then you are becoming a better version of yourself but the person does not have to come in such a way that come at you in such a way that you start even rejecting yourself as a person you know there's a way you you criticize someone in love do you understand that makes the person feel generally accepted Accepted. other than rejected Mm -hmm. you know you have to build that atmosphere of acceptance to make her feel comfortable enough to be in your space okay yeah. so what else do you want to talk um, about so i just remember another story i remember okay. a guy liked me he's like oh Esther, i really like you but the only thing is that i wish you were a little bit lighter than this color oh i like huh run a <laughs> red flag i said see i'm a brown skin girl yes i'm proudly this color i mean so in my skin. you cannot say you like me but you wish and later you know after some time after i told him that this is who i am yeah. i'm proud of myself so he went later and i came back to, ah it's like the color does not matter and i'm like guy esther cannot bleach for i you. mean <laughs> it's kind this of color fun. is permanent yeah. we cannot we cannot so in that situation the person likes maybe why the character everything but i do not like my skin color yes he has not accepted me fully mm-hmm. so anyone you are going out with must accept you your class yes. you can't come and say ah oh, we're of different class it's maybe maybe he's is in the maybe high class rank you yeah maybe still in the middle yeah. and he now feels like ah he's doing you a favor it's you know true. some yeah. men can feel oh i'm doing a- anybody that feels they're doing a favor please be going <laughs> Because they that they think their class is higher, you didn't know tomorrow who you'll be. Do you understand? So any man that you want to go out, you want to get married to, yes. must appreciate you where you are. Yes. And that's why they say that you should marry someone from your tribe. <laughs> you know, there are, are actually men that they want to 
they want to settle down with this lady but then they'll be like oh she wears trousers oh she doesn't wear skimpy dresses oh she's not this please find exactly what you do you understand please stay in one place do you understand yes. just guess what you want and go after it accordingly don't come and tell us you want um Shoma's body in um Temilolua skin. It, it doesn't ah, even make sense. I remember this thing, this oh, saying man. about some lady ladies came up with this description that you want a man that has Bishop Oedipus wealth. Oh Joshua Sama's body oh and Pastor Pastor Adeboy's voice. Wow. <laughs> Where on earth? I'm sorry, do not deceive yourself <laughs> because you um, know if you are going after someone, please make sure that you are accepting the person. Yeah, completely. In, yes, wholly. We're not, not saying accept every bad part, but yeah. they are going to have some limitations. Yes. No one is perfect. But yes, like accept them, knowing that God will work on their on them. Yes, and all that. And you also want to make sure that this is someone that can easily change. People that have a teachable spirit. That yes. is also very very important some men do not have teachable spirit they're already feeling like oh i'm the lion of the tribe of of, of your judah you should not <laughs> even correct me women are not supposed to correct men you know things like that no yeah. no 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 you don't that's a red flag yes a so she said something about my, that way they say marry your tribe she's yes. not talking about the maybe if you are a yoga house no no she's saying that marry someone that suits you yes do you understand mm-hmm. you know this is what you want don't now go and say let me manage then you'll not be turning the person to be who they are not by get. force by fire yeah no and i remember something um mildred okonko said okay. that just it made me just actually to start laughing because she's like i cannot marry a mommy's boy do you get she knows that she can't because she knows for her she has seen that okay mommy's boys can be like this and she's like i yes. can't deal so yes. actually if you know you can't deal with a mommy's boy please stay don't away. not be turning the person to be who he's not do you understand mm-hmm. and 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 the sweetest part about me is that we've mentioned awareness before it takes a level of self-awareness yeah so know who you can be with and mm-hmm. who you cannot be, be with, with. You, you need to understand yourself like see your purpose yeah. actually that's a story for another day actually but and see look at the person that fits into you like sit under god and trust him to open your eyes yes. to the kind of person this person is so that you can know if they suit into that kind of person that you know can carry your <laughs> your cross yes please <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for being a part of today's program i believe you've learned one or two things yeah thank yes. you so much i think for me in conclusion i'll say get to know yourself better yes when you know your, yourself better you'll be able to know what you want exactly yes you will be yeah you will be please drop your comments in the comment sections accordingly yes. drop your contributions we would love to hear from you exactly all right don't forget to like Share and and subscribe. subscribe. All right, guys. See you next Thursday. Bye. Mm. Au revoir. There's not much to do. When all (laughs) I can is thinking about you.